legend and path for the journey of exploration into our creativity. The material and subject areas addressed by the journey of exploration into our creativity spans a large number of topics and variety as to the information provided. As such, each recording is provided with one or more color-coded circles reflecting the type of information as defined below and the symbol of the heart or mind relative to the two creative paths as discussed in the recording, Two Paths of Creativity. The colors are as follows. White circle with black boundary is informational topics. They are topics that provide some type of information which may or may not be related or applicable to one's personal journey. For example, the life events of the author that gave rise to the whole journey of exploration into creativity and gave rise to the understanding of the life path would lie in this area. Yellow are recommendations that have worked for others. These are things that the listener may wish to do if they feel correct or resonate with the listener. However, it can be said that if I, the author, were your advisor, these things are things that I would really suggest you consider doing. One of the most obvious is to become aware of your self-talk and the practice to have clear intentions for your actions. Orange are discussions about having placed our creativity into a cage or box of our own making as a result of the experiences we have had in life and things we may need to do to get it out. Discerning personal truth and calibrating our internal compass fall into this category as does becoming aware of the anxiety of the unknown and the potential ways of addressing it. Red circles represent basic concepts or principles. These are topics which one can build upon to enhance their creativity or take the journey of exploration of their creativity. For example, the concept of creativity perspective, creative power and creative ability, what is love, nature of creativity, self-talk, energy consciousness, and similar concepts. Green is about living the authentic self. In becoming aware of what serves and does not serve us, we naturally start making decisions that serve us. This could easily cause us to live the left-hand path of society in which we live. It is not opposed to society, but still not quite the same, sort of like how the left hand and right hand are related and what, they, what you can do with each. It is about living from the heart and our intuition. It's about learning to navigate from the heart where the heart leads our life and the mind figures out how to make it happen rather than just what mind says and believes. Blue are techniques. These are ways of doing and being that help support whatever we desire to create. They may be focusing techniques or simply mantras that one can develop to help pro reprogram oneself. The pull of creation exercises fall into this category. Indigo reflects observations by the author. These reflect either things experienced, observations, or things the author has come to understand about our creative power and creative ability. Since they are subjective, you could say they appear to be true, at least for the author. But these observations are such that the author lives his life based on these observations until otherwise proven incorrect. Obviously, much of what is reported in the RYUC understanding and material are obviously observations by the author. You, as the reader or listener, will need to do your own experiments to determine if what is said is true for you. And you are encouraged to do so, for you are on your own unique journey. It is essential you determine what is true and not true for you and what does and does not serve you. The goal, if there is one, is to achieve what we incarnated to do and to create a life worth living. Violet are what the author feels that most will call speculation. Speculations are where the author has made observations or has had experiences that suggest the author's interpretation of how creation and the creative process works is correct or at least reasonably correct. Items marked as violent follow consistent with the author's understanding in some way. The author will take these speculations as true until he can either disprove them or come to understand a more correct and or accurate truth. Here again, you will have to decide for yourself as to whether or not you will accept them. But again, it is suggested you do your own experiments to see if you would come to the same conclusions as the author. The symbols used are as follows. 
the heart refers to a topic where one needs to rely on feelings and intuition more than mental knowing. The heart refers to aspects that are more aligned with the unseen and mystical aspects of creation and our creative power and creative ability. These topics are often more related to a truly original creation never before seen or experienced. The mind refers to the topics where one utilizes the thinking mind and mental constructs and mental perspectives we have about ourselves, life, and creation. These topics are more about manifesting something our mind wants in life or involve stories, theories, or ideas about creation and how creation works that help one can understand or comprehend creation. The heart and mind together refer to topics that dance between the heart and mind or are topics that assist both the mental part and the heart path.